Hey, it's uh, me, Rabbi Brian. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, high holidays and the thinking that I had this year. And the thinking that I had this year was to pretend that the liturgy of the traditional liturgy, that the, the idea of the 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, that what if in those 10 days um, that God is really deciding our fate in those 10 days? And just to do it as a thought experiment, and what if God is actually in those 10 days um, figuring out what our lot is for the next year? And um, well, that explains to me why it is we do uh, the atonement that we do is because we're trying to say to God, hey, look, this whole year's done and I want to make peace with you. I want to make peace with everyone. I want to like clean up all the shit and all the problems, everything that I did in the last year that was yuck. And, uh, and then let's talk about going forward, the future. And I talked in my service about making peace with, um, you know, making peace with those who are alive, people who we have to atone to, um, making peace with the dead, that we continue to have relationship with those who are no longer living. And um, we lit candles at the service where, uh, where I was. Um, we lit candles. And, you know, I'm still working on my relationship with my father, even though he's passed on. And I, I continue on. So to clean up with the living, to clean up with the dead, and then to clean up our relationship with God in saying, for me to be able to say, God, look, um, I kind of fucked up, uh, you know, like I wish I hadn't done, I wish I didn't have the anxiety that I had had, uh, not that I had it, but that I nurtured it and kind of, um, was fighting for the problem a little more than necessary. And I'm sorry, God, I didn't make time for you, um, in what I was doing when I was so filled with fear and you were like, Hey, come on, let's go play and let's have some fun. And I was like, no, no, I can't, I got to do this. Um, and I'm sorry about that. And God says to me, um, God says, yeah, you kind of fucked up there. And, uh, but that's okay. And I forgive you. I'm like, yeah, well, yeah, all right, cool. And, and then I also have to be able to say to God, God, um, what the fuck was that thing that you did? Like, what was that about? And God goes, yeah, look, dude, my bad. I'm sorry. I, I, I missed a few things last year, and um, I'm sorry about that. And I say to God, um, yeah, no, thanks for, thanks for taking, taking responsibility. And so God and I clean up our, our relationship. So that's looking at the past year. The whole looking at the past year is cleaning up the relationship that God and I have what I've done that I need to atone for and for me to be able to say to God what it is that I can forgive God for. Right. That cleans up last year. And then going forward, I imagine this and I think it would behoove you to think the same question is like, let's imagine you just had this whole reconciliation with God. And now God says, Hey, listen, um, can you do me a solid? Like, would you do me a favor in the next year? Would you do this thing? And it's not a big thing. It's like, would you remember to, you know, put the cardboard in with the recycling? Like, it's that kind of thing. And God just says, hey, listen, I'm glad we cleaned up. I want to ask you something. Would you please? And what is that? What is that thing that... Um, you want to ask God, that, that God asks you to do, and you want to be able to say, yeah, totally, I'll do that for you. And for you to be able to say to God, hey, listen, um, can you, would you? Oh, I'd appreciate it. Could you please? It would make me feel great. And God would say, well, God might say yes, God might say no, but you got to ask. With lots of love, Rabbi Brian.